Keep your eyes open. This is only a car, not a tank, Corporal. Did you hear me? Keep your eyes on the road. It's a rough road, sir. Nonsense. If you keep your eyes on it instead of watching the sky... a scout, Major. Nothing dangerous. And you, you idiot, you're asking for trouble, behaving like a coward. Your superior is the one who'll tell you to take cover. Your superior. He saw an enemy plane. That's enough for me. Whatever you say. Drive on. I told the corporal to keep his eyes open. And a good thing. Our life is all too short. Corporal Mueller. Jovo. Take it easy. And you'll earn my appreciation by staying alert. Let's go. Jovo. are as thick as mules. You idiot! Are you going to move that thing over or do I have to clear the road with my pistol? Change the photographs. You better be on your way. Best of luck. Let's go. Hurry. There's no time to lose. Say prayer. 
put it away. You'll pass in business. Come now, you forget. What do you mean, forget? First of all, present yourself in the correct manner to officers of the German army. Feldwebel Hansenlein, at your service, Oberleutnant. Very well. What do you want? Headquarters told me that there was a report of several gunshots in the vicinity. I was only investigating, and I thought... You that... mean to say that for this you halted a couple of officers, eh? Extraordinary. I have patience, but you've strained my patience to the limit. I should report you. Now move. Jawohl, Herr Oberleutnant. Zu Befehl. Schnell. Aufsetzen. Drive on, Mueller. I've lost too much time already. Hey, Professor. German officer never looks back. Bother that rule. My back's a big target if they were to fire. We got too much to do to lose you now. But you're assuming, aren't you, that we'll make it to this unholy Zahir. here. Before you did all right. Now the tough part's ahead. Now, you wouldn't want things to be too easy, would you, Professor? But I agree with you. I wish us all well. coming from in that car. And where are you headed for? From the field. I'm going home to my wife. Oh, French swine, you all look suspicious to me. I've done nothing. Search this car, schnell. No, wait, wait. It's my whole morning's work. I'm not like the others. I love all Germans. Your victorious Be quiet. armies. Find anything? Only a that be able. On your motorcycle, schnell. Your documents, please. Excuse the screening of superior officers, but these are my orders, sir. We are ready to move. We've been waiting for you since we received orders from our Office of Security to accompany you to Zeher. Zuberfeld. Open!
You see, Professor, the Germans themselves will lead us to Zaya. All those months of planning and worrying and wondering how we were going to get in and the way it worked out, it couldn't be easy. Then, how to find the exit? Oberleutnant in Oakland. Major. Fall close behind. Mines? Mines is hardly the word. Do you know what it's called by the field marshal? You may not believe it, but he calls it the devil's garden. Not even a cat could slip through without blowing itself to hell. Ah, yes. We have one of your old students here, Major. All he talks about is the theories of the great Professor Dreyer. His name is Captain Mahler. He'll be delighted to see you. Follow me, please. Colonel Spidel, may I present Major Dreyer? Ah, it's a pleasure, Dreyer. Delighted to meet you, Colonel. Oberleutnant von Getz. A name I know well, von Getz. Your father, isn't he Lieutenant General von Getz? Yes, sir. Ah, I knew there was a resemblance. We fought side by side in Greece, young man. And as boys, we fought over your mother. He won. Yes, sir. <laughs> Would you prefer, Professor, to rest a little bit? It has been a long journey. Then later you can inspect the plant. With your permission, Colonel, if the Major isn't too tired, I think that Mahler is quite anxious to show you his work. And I am not the least bit tired. Colonel? Thank you, sir. Then we can go have a look now. Excellent. It's through this door here. I'll come with you. Accompany the corporal to the enlisted men's quarters. You're not coming, Von Get? Of course. I wouldn't miss it. Come with me. Major Dreyer. May I present to you our young technical genius, Captain Mahler. He has designed and directed our project here at Zaher. I think you have every right to be proud of him. After all, he was your student. I know I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you before, Professor, but I've always followed your work in your books and scientific papers. In this respect, I consider myself your student. May I say how honored I am to meet you this first time? If I've learned anything, Major, you've done it. I hope that you won't be too disappointed in what I've done in Normandy. Oh, I'm sure it's marvelous, young Mahler. And I wish to say that I consider you an exemplary student. <laughs> you are too kind to me, Professor. Mahler! Mind your own business, will you, and hold your compliments till later. As you'll see here, Professor, it's their funeral. I 
Have a look, sir. Right here. J1, open the fuel lines. Contact. Not a bad job, is it? <laughs> You might say we were planning a warm reception for the Americans should they try to land here. Take a look, Von Kitz. <laughs> Congratulations, Mala. Thank you, sir. I'm much impressed. You're quite right, Colonel Spidel. If the Allies try to land here, they haven't got a chance. Be gentle with that thing, will you? It's about right. Now let's get out of here. Let's go. Quicker than that, Captain. <laughs> Fritz really took a beating. He this sure time. did, Doss. But nobody was shooting back. <laughs> <laughs> Give me covered, you guys. I'm not through with this one yet. Yeah. Get it, you <laughs> Damn Nazi. That's enough, Sergeant Doss. Knock it off. Go find some other way to amuse yourself. You're too old to play with dolls. Yes, sir. That's it, Major. That's not it. You've got just 10 seconds to clear that minefield. If you don't chop your time down, they'll get every one of you. Major, we've made this dummy run eight times and haven't been under 15 seconds yet. Lower it. How many of us you figure those Germans will get per second? Too many. The idea is to hold your casualty rate as low as possible. Fall in! Are you positive that this Are you setup is an exact now? duplicate of the original? Sure, it's an exact duplicate. All the bunkers on that coast are alike. They've been photographed more often than Rita Hayworth. But look, Major, we're wasting a hell of a lot of time putting those pipes together. We better figure out some other way. I don't care how you do it. Listen to me, Jack. That bunker is there and it's gotta be taken, see? Cut it to 10 seconds or you'll get it in the neck. That's an order, Captain. Yes, sir. You men, this is an arrest camp. Report to Captain Murphy immediately. All right, you guys, shake a leg out of the trucks. Move it. Heard about it? The alarm 
will be circulated tonight. Tomorrow, D-Day begins. And day after tomorrow, God willing, we land. Yeah, God willing. And Omaha Beach? The Devil's Fountains? No news yet, I'm afraid. Who's on the job? An officer named Strobel. I'd say he's one of our most capable intelligence men. And two Frenchmen. Strobel. Do I know him? I'm sure you've heard of him. For quite a number of years before the war, he was a well-known actor on Broadway. You might say he was sort of the darling of Broadway. I'd prefer to have a professional for this show. An actor. Don't run him down. I think a hell of a lot of him. He'll do his best. It's about all we can go on. That he will do his damnedest. Brandy? No, that's nectar. Those Frenchmen are good for something. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, <laughs> Major? Oh, I'd say they're good for two things. <laughs> if not much else. <laughs> it's your turn, Oberleutnant Opel. Propose a toast. What shall we drink to? To the success eh? of the fountains of the devil. Yeah, proceed. You have a great enthusiasm, Oberleutnant. Have you ever seen, in your experience, a tank burn up? No. Usually the crew will roast inside, like chickens in an oven. You can smell the burning flesh, and you can hear them scream until they're nothing more than charred carcasses. As a maker of fire weapons, I'll trade my position. Our young genius has had too little cognac. Come, Muller, drink and be merry. All right, to the devil's fountain. Prosit. Prosit. Some line for a soldier to be walking dogs all night. Maybe you'd rather be on the Russian front. Now that would be a real bitch. <laughs> if I hear one more joke like that, Fritz, I'll feed you to the dogs. Now shut up. Please join me in one more. Prozit. Prozit. Uh, the fountain is having a full test tomorrow morning. I think the professor and I had better retire and leave you gentlemen to your pleasures. The professor may share my room if he so desires. I'd be only too glad to, Captain Marla. If I may have your leave, Colonel? Please do as you like, Professor. They want to go, we let them go. After all, it means two less to share this nectar. Close it. Close, Close it. it. Easy, easy. Stop pulling like that. Stop, I told you. Easy, stop pulling. What's wrong with the dogs? Maybe they picked up the scent. You could be right. Maybe they have. We'll see. Let them go. <laughs>
eine Antwort. Ich wiederhole, 420. Hallo? OKW? Sofort. OKW, Ruf 13, 17, 19. Hallo, hallo? OKW, verlangt 13, 17, 19. Noch keine Verbindung. You'll stand guard here. Let nobody in. Orders from Herrn Oberst. Hallo, hallo. Jawohl, Herr Oberlein. OKW, Ruf 13, 17, 19. Hallo, hallo. OKW, Ordert 13, 17, 19. You must be tired, sir. Don't you want to go to bed? No. That is, yes. I've been doing some thinking. I hope I haven't offended you, Professor. Offend me? How? Oh, by what I said at dinner. I didn't mean it to be a personal remark. My dear chap, I'm not offended. You must know how I've stood. All my life, I've preached against putting science at the disposition of the insane. Let's go, Professor. Bring the radio. All right. Are you mad? What's that for? Don't worry, Professor. The rooms are soundproof. I just experimented. You don't mean you kill a man in cold blood, do you, Strobel? I can't take a chance. We'd have them after us the instant that we left. I'm sorry, Captain Mahler, but say, look here. It's your life for ours. <laughs> Forgive me, Mahler. There's no need for killing. He's no problem now. Satisfied? Come on, let's go. Get my driver. We must leave at once. Open the door. What are you waiting for? That's an order. Open the door. Impossible, Oberleutnant. You've got to have written permission. Ridiculous. Our orders say that we must leave at once, and this should be enough. Impossible, Lord Lieutenant. You've got to have permission on paper. Those are my orders, sir. Open up that door, Private. Right now. I'm sorry, Oper Lieutenant, but I can't do it. Guard! Open up! Your man here refused to obey orders. Command phoned just moments ago with a most urgent request from General Pemsel to see the Major. At this hour? You must have a special pass to go out, and only the Colonel can issue you that. Colonel Spidel is in no position to issue any pass right now. You mean that you had quite a celebration, sir? Yeah. Very well. I'll accompany you to the parking area. bag, sir. Oh, you see, we left them behind. Probably be back in an hour. Uh, 
Can you tell me then why the Major needs his bootjack for that hour? Oh, my bootjack. I, I can't imagine what I was thinking. Now, what's this all about at this time of night? What is it? Who are you looking for? What's happened? We will get him. Yeah, 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 wall. Alles nach links. Alles nach hinten. Wir müssen ihn fangen. Not this way, sir. Spies, they've been through here. We thought we saw him, Mayor Oberleutnant. You can at least give me a hand. Why aren't you with the others there? You damned coward. Sell! Yawl. doing here? Shh, be quiet. Follow me. How can we find him in this darkness? We'd better find him. Tell Vabel Sindelar is mad as a hornet. Let's try this area over here. Come on. He's dead too. And this one? He's still breathing. Then we'll be happy to take him with us. No, he's too badly wounded. I'm afraid that the ride would kill him. It is quite interesting, the concern you show for him. He's a spy. He's a spy, but he's also a man. Now you remember this. Until further orders, I am in command here. Jawohl, Herr Hauptmann. Then the entire responsibility is left in your hands. I'll try to remember that, Feldwebel. Take him to my room and be careful with him. Come with me. We were lucky they didn't have the dogs. Wait a minute. Still haven't told me what you were doing there. The bodies were found. 
found almost immediately. Jean and Louis were poor grave diggers. What's that, a radio? Yes. You better call headquarters. Read me the message. Okay, yeah, thanks. Goodbye. Hello. Get me General Taylor immediately. Yes. Is it safe here? Safe enough. You'll have to hide in the barn, though. Uh, if I have to. Who else is here? Just my father. Is he one of us? Oh, no. He's very old. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He... He just wants to enjoy the few years he has, and... Well, you can't hold that against him. Oh, I don't. That's just the way he is. Denise! 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 Is that you? Yes! Well, come in right away. Something terrible's happened. The Germans are in a rage. Dad, don't worry so much. Go back in and lie down. Lie down, you say? I'd like to know how you'd like it. To be 75 and someday you'll understand. I'll not pay for what they did. Here we are. Your room's up there. No running water. Uh, have they ever searched this place? We're friends. You see, the Germans, they buy our milk. You know, Denise, I'm beginning to think you're quite a remarkable girl. In any event, I'd say that this is a very nice hotel. Good night. In case you see my father, don't let him see you. I hope they'll be friends. Hmm? I haven't had a farm breakfast since I was seven. Broadway was never like this. Lieutenant Strubble will maintain constant communications with headquarters. Come over here, Jack. This is it. They here. And these are the aerial photographs that were taken at dawn. You'll jump tonight. Now, Jack, there is one farm which is close to your landing area, and it's a friendly one. Lieutenant Strobel made sure of that. Now, this is a copy of your landing map. I want you to learn that by heart. Your takeoff time is 1,900 hours. All set? I wish you good luck. Thank you, Major. We'll need it. Captain Murphy, you don't seem very enthusiastic about this operation. 
Should I be? Good God, man. You'll be the first American soldier to set foot in France. I've been trying to appreciate that fact for more than a month. I'll be damned if I can. I know it's a blow against the Nazis. We're protecting the free world. Defending the men on the 29th from death by fire. I'm aware of those facts, Major. You really think that's the right attitude to have before taking off on an operation like this? All right. What's really been eating me is that this operation is already butchered. My intelligence. Can you tell me why? Once that unit was inside, why they didn't blow that bunker? You know damn well that we haven't got a chance in hell. It was their job to locate the bunker, and it's your job to blow it. You can do it, Jack. We have it worked out to the last detail. You know what they call this operation? Operation Gambit. You know what that means? It's a chess move. You sacrifice one piece to protect another. That is a gambit. making sandwiches for? Oh, Sergeant Wagner. We have to keep him happy. Yes, but don't overdo it. You know how these Germans are. They'll eat us out of house and home if you give them half a chance. But you're right. I don't want any trouble. Now for some special messages. The meadows are glee. We grow too soon all the too late smart. Denise, turn that radio off. You know it's forbidden to listen to an enemy program. I've told you before. Now, why do you do it? Honestly, you worry too much. Well, someone has to worry around here. Now, what's the matter with you? Don't you realize that there's a military ban on that broadcast? This song glow long, then you long turn it off. Charles has a new... There, it's off. Are you satisfied? Where are you going? To take this to Sergeant Wagner. No other message? No, Major. Connect me with General Pemsel. Hello? Oh, it's your bag. What's that you say? They've just transmitted the first verse of Verlaine. A moment ago, sir. Reports indicate that the second verse will be transmitted within 24 hours, and I don't have to tell you, General, what that holds in store for us. The invasion, according to a great many generals. We must transmit every bit of information to headquarters, Baring. But what about local army units? Hadn't we better advise them, sir? Just do your job, Major Baring, and leave the decisions to me. And for your information, the opinions of generals at headquarters are not always right. So it's finally happening. The invasion of Normandy, Lieutenant. That means they'll be sending the paratroopers in tonight. Do you know exactly where they're going to land? Oh. They'll inform me by radio in about two hours. Then we'll be on hand to greet them just as soon as they land. We? Hmm? Oui. No, no. No women allowed. Well, what is it? Oh, a thousand excuses, Lieutenant. After all, I didn't know. She never said a thing, that naughty little Denise, not a thing. You object? Perhaps you don't like Germans? Oh, on the contrary, Lieutenant. I consider it a great honor. Then get out of here and don't bother me. 
Just as you say. Father's gone now. What are you doing? You know, that sounds just like a line from a play. But you were on the stage. I was in a play at school once. Well, honey, this is dress rehearsal. <laughs> Just about there. You better prepare to jump. All right, this is it. Jump or turn it back. Oh, it ain't been both boats. All right with me. Postponed until. They're jumping. Captain, shut up, Doss. They'll play hearts all the way home. I'm missing five men and equipment. Doesn't mean anything to you, Doss? Not to me. Doesn't mean anything to me either. We've had it. I can tell you what happened. Don't shoot, Captain Murphy. I'm an American officer. Stop and listen to me. This uniform is only my cover. I've got news for you. The Supreme Command has put off the start of D-Day. And for you, I'm afraid the news was sent late. And you busted my radio. Yeah, that. D-Day's been postponed. And we're here behind German lines alone and without any equipment. All we can do is wait until the invasion starts. Who says we should believe Pretty Boy? Why did we do all that training that we did? I came here to kill me some Germans. Make sure you leave a few for the invading force, Dobbs. That is, if there's going to be one. Meantime, we're in a hell of a mess. I've come to help. Uh, I'm not so sure. On the devil, men. All right. Check him out, Dobbs. Who are the National League champions? The Giants. And the leading batter? Ted Warren. Where's Newark? New Jersey. In Newark, what's the fine for a double parking ticket? Hmm? <laughs> 
two and a half bucks. Who's Charlie McCarthy's friend? Edgar Bergen. Junior might not be fooling us, Captain. I'm Lieutenant Strobel to you, Sergeant. Now let's get going. Bury your shoots in the woods, men. And don't leave any traces. Come on, let's go. I'd like to know what the hell is going on up there. It's just a simple postponement. But can you tell me why? The meteorological officer stopped it. It's no one's fault. Were you able to stop the jump in time? No. No. The message was late, by seconds. Murphy and some of his men were already off the plane. I wonder if we can try and rescue all of those men. Let's admit that Operation Gambit was doomed to fail before it began. It's a shame it's infeasible. Yet, to order others to go in after them would be suicide. You're right. But I'm a soft-hearted man, and you know it. I still feel guilty. This is it. You can trust the cows. Got a cigarette? I've seen better hiding places. All right, man, up in the loft. Yeah. We'll all be safe here. I'm sure of that. We left no traces for the Germans to follow. Well, maybe you're right, but I got a feeling somewhere along the line we followed up. Why? I just don't like it. I think the word for that is pessimism. Well, I just don't want to die among a bunch of cows. Uh, good luck. Living amongst them may prove equally undesirable. What a stink. But then a redneck like you, Harris. I bet you feel right at home. Too bad your sister ain't here. We could have us a little roll in the hay. I wish you wouldn't talk dirty about my baby sister, Sergeant. You all know it upsets me. <laughs> you were brought up in dirt. Tell me, Sergeant, you got nothing else to do but constantly pick on this man, huh? Now you try and hand me that stuff and you're gonna pay for it. Listen, Foster. I can take five guys like you. Can it or I'll smash that big nose. Sure, sure. You might hit it. But then you'd be flat on your back. Embarrassing for you. All right, knock it off, you two. I don't even want to hear you breathe. I'll speak to you later. I wish Sandoval were here. Who the hell is Sandoval? A Broadway director. He turned me down for the part of a German officer. I was the wrong type. Too American. Look, why don't you forget about Sandoval and Broadway? What we need is a radio, one that works. Well, it doesn't make any difference. What do you mean? We wouldn't be able to transmit. The Germans would pick us up in a minute. They're experts. Damn it. We could sure as hell listen. How are we going to know the time for D-Day? We'll have to leave that up to Denise. She'll pick it up for us. The cows are restless this morning. Now, why should they be disturbed? Do you have any idea why, Denise? The rose has lost its petals. Chisel has a new bow. Denise, for the love of God, you'll have them here. The sun is you know the Germans? Dawn. They'll take our farm, everything. What'll happen to us then? Jack is crazy. We'll be executed. I now get away from that radio. Can't do it. I warn you, I'll destroy it once and for all. The soap will. is on the fire. Turn that radio the off. Sunlight. Turn it off, I said. Bless Damn you. Cœur, monotone. <laughs>
This message is genuine. I believe the bombardment will commence tomorrow morning. I just hope the general agrees. Get me headquarters, Schnell. Nothing, Feldwebel. Nothing, eh? Come down here. And you, you've seen no one? No one. Should we have seen anyone? Silence, Denise. Who is she? My daughter. We've done nothing. So please remove your soldiers Be and let quiet, us alone. Denise, do as I, I happen to find a parachute near the swamp. Who asked you to offer that information in front of suspects? Please tell him, Sergeant, that we would never do a thing. You're a wrong. Frenchman! Have the men looked everywhere? Yes, sir. We found nothing. Come with me. Have the dogs found no traces? Nothing, sir. The way these cows stink, the dogs could smell nothing else. Your insolence isn't very funny. Out of four, Schnell. so. But what were they looking for? I mean, could I have anything to do with the parachute? I tell you this, Denise, one day it'll be the end for me. But Papa will be liberated soon. Liberated? Will you quit using words like that? You never know who's listening. Lieutenant, what happened to you? How did you get in there? It wasn't my fault. You must let me clean your uniform. Such a good uniform. There, there it is now. You can always depend on me, sir. Uh... I knew war was hell, but I didn't think I'd end up in a pile of cow shit. You'd uh, better hide those jumpsuits in the straw. Only one man in this outfit stupid enough to leave his parachute in the open. Gee, Sergeant, there ain't no telling who. <laughs> Dumb rebel. And I say the man is innocent. If you say only the dumbest man in the outfit could have fouled up like that, then I say you're the one who left the chute. You have a big beak, and you're going to have it flattened out for you, Foster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Foster, put that knife away. I said that's enough. Are you mad? The Germans so close? I gave you an order. That means now. We're not on a dummy run any longer. Get back into the barn on the double. But... I, I don't understand. Hey, bury this too. Stinks worse than a skunk. All right, let's go. Everybody inside the bar. You know, when I tell my kids what war was really like, you think they're going to believe me? Oh, this is nothing. We'll probably land in the sewer next time. And my daddy always said cow dung was good for the asthma. Patient <laughs> two minutes, right, lookout. Foster, over there. And you, Wells. Take the window. I'm sorry, Captain, but it was the only way to keep the dogs from sniffing you out. Well, they didn't find us. That's what counts. I don't think anyone minded. Someone explain. Tell me, who are all these men? Don't worry. We're Archangels of Liberty, Grandpa. Don't smell too good, but you're to blame for that. A little bit of Paragar could do wonders for your cows. <laughs> <laughs> This makes coll collaborators of us. I'm an enemy of no one, but I... I can't risk my life in the life of my daughter. You and your men must get out. Okay, Pop. We'll pull out just as soon as it gets dark. You'll get what's coming. Papa! I mean what I say, Denise. If you want war, have war. But I'll have no part of it. I'm just an old man. Get out of here, understand? I must say the old boy hasn't shown too much enthusiasm for liberation. 
You're young. You have no idea. He's really a fine man. When he was a boy, he fought in... The simple way I look at it, he ain't got any guts. Shut up, Sergeant. If it weren't for this girl, you wouldn't be alive. If I am a coward, American, that is my affair. You haven't any right to do this to us. You must go. You must leave us right now, understand? We'll leave when it's dark, Maturin. I promise. Very well, I warned you. Where are you going, Papa? Where do you think I'm going? To Usine. I must do it. Someone has got to do it. And what do they care? They'll only be prisoners, but the Germans will shoot us. No, they won't. I'll save them the trouble. No, no, you mustn't. He's a harmless old man. No. No. That's enough, Doss. You can shove your orders. You're out of uniform. Don't tell me Put what... Put that knife away. Relax and shut up. If you want me to give this blade up, you'll have to make me. I said get hold of yourself. This unit. It's my family. And if I have to, I'll even rip his belly to... Now, get this into your thick skulls. There's only one man in command of this unit, and that's me. I give the orders, you carry them out. As long as I'm alive, that's the way it is. This includes you, Lieutenant. Yeah, and with that, the little old one found a little old thing with wheels on, and he's taken off. After him, he mustn't get away. Go on, shot. I You'll have the whole you. German army out. Captain, there. hurry. We can catch him. I know of a shortcut. Get them in back inside and shut the door. Fall back in the barn. I told... Wait a minute. this side. We must hurry. I have nothing to do with it. I'm an old man. I do no harm. I want to live. Oh, the crazy one. Shoot him. Kill him. Don't let him get me. Shoot him. Please. Please. It won't be long before they find those bodies. And it's for sure we can't stay on at Denise's farm, so we better find ourselves a new place. What do you think? I'm beginning to think you're a die-hard optimist. Denise, we have to go now. 
There's nothing more we can do. I'm sorry. You know that, don't you? <laughs> we haven't got enough problems. Now he has to fall in love. From the look on your face, those orders concern me. Your battle is already finished, hey, Captain Marlin. Yes, Professor. I'm to hand you over to the SS. Then I must impose and beg you for one favor more. More than me, would you? Your cyanide pills? I found them, and I'm keeping them. It's my death. You're a Nobel Prize winner, Professor Aubernay. You have too much to give to the world. It'd be stupid to die like that. If it'll make you happier, I'll live until I'm murdered by your Gestapo. The fact I'm wearing a German officer's uniform doesn't mean I'm not a human being. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you your pills, but only when I'm absolutely convinced that you're right. This is far enough. Spread out. Mama always said don't walk in water. It's bad for the dogs. Dogs is the name of the game. So they won't smell us. You sure you got that message straight, Denise? They transmitted the last second verse. Bless mon cœur d'une langueur monotone. Lady, that doesn't mean a thing to me. It signifies that the Allies will land tomorrow morning. If Denise is wrong, we've had it. But I am not wrong. Then why don't we hear any planes? Past midnight. If you're waiting for the rest of your men, don't. They aren't coming. The big brass probably think we've been taken prisoner. They won't be dropping any more men here, Captain. It isn't the most strategic position, but we can hold up here until the invasion begins. You mean that Operation Gambit is out? Way out. I guess it is. Unless we want to try it alone. Maybe it's professional pride. But there's nothing worse for an actor and the blow is first night because of the electricians pulling a strike. I know it's trouble. You took a hell of a risk getting inside that bunker. You know the layout. We all know the risk the 29th is taking, but you're forgetting one simple thing. Explosives. You say that door is three inches thick. Figure it out. I think I know where we could find explosives. The castle at Houssonet is full of ammunition. Hear that? Well, Captain? On your feet, men. Up and off it. Now, you men have been wanting to see a French castle. French girl, you're gonna get your chance. We have a job to do in the next village. So get your equipment, Ryan, you line them up. It's not far, only a few minutes away. All set, Captain. You're not coming. What? You've done enough. Just listen to me. Now, you know as well as I do what 
what the mission means to the invasion. I'll come back. I promise. That's Carlo, Janet. This way. Stop! Halt! Was ist los? Hast du nie einen Offizier gesehen? Was? Jawohl, Oberleutnant. Aber wir sollen mit niemandem sprechen. Klar, Fall. Natürlich. Aber ich habe sie niemals gesehen, Herr Oberleutnant. Wo kommen Sie her?
Let's go. This is our course. We have 12 355s from the Wasp fight, 9 381s from the Romulus. That's enough to blow a cruiser out of the water. Except a cruiser's 400 feet long, Commander. And it's a hell of a lot wider. Compared to the dome of that bunker having a diameter of just nine feet. Damn it, anyway, if we hit it, we deserve to get the Quad de Guerre. Keep your eyes open. We're almost ready. Right. Hey, my hands are shaking. Give me one good reason why my hands should be shaking. You're not the only one. There. That should blow a hole in it. Ah, Captain. Well, everything looks all right. And, uh... Don't worry about that minefield. We'll make it. Hell, Strobel. You've been through it and back. We'll follow you once we get by the wire. You think these cans of beans are going to blow that big old door, Captain? More just like it. Move on. Come on. And don't drop it, okay?
It's almost done. It'll be light fairly soon. We could show you some tanks. The ambulance has arrived at lookout one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. Regenschirm. Augenblick. Is the prisoner ready for transport? Yeah, well, Feldwebel. Very good. Come. Captain, are we thinking the same thing? They've got to come out again. What the hell's happening now, Baring? I have reports that the partisans are attacking. It would appear that they were not partisans, Herr General. You see, sir, one of the attackers was found dead in a U.S. Army uniform. Obviously, General Eisenhower has condemned his men to suicide. They can't do much harm, only there must be a reason why they suddenly send paratroopers. Of course, I understand. They want Zayer. Yes, I know the bunker's heavily guarded, but they'll do anything to get to it. You must do your best. In the meantime, I'll send you reinforcements. <laughs> Please 
let go, Professor. You've got to listen to me. Hey, inside! Hey! admit it was a spectacular show. What's trouble? I believe you can say that we made it. I must say I never thought.
Don't shoot! We're Americans! Glad to see you guys, but you just might as well start heading for Paris, Lieutenant. The war's over here. <laughs>